Hi, Bobski Manic here, giving another quick tutorial on a drum and bass lesson. Today I will not be using those loops as we know I normally like to use. Just give you a quick demo. I may add one at the end. Right at the moment, I'm just going to give you a quick demo how those loops might have got started once before. So, first, go to our tempo. I'm going to make this a drum and bass one, so I'm going to put 1 to 72, just a random number. I don't like to stick to the normals. I like to give the DJ some work to work, some work when they mix their tracks. First of all, we're going to work on my kick. All right. I'm going to go to my side here. I'm going to find a random sound to use. What have we got here? Yeah, that'll do. Just a random quick kick. I'm going to give this some EQ lessons as well. Uh, I'm going to make this pattern at eight. Eight bars long. You see that all in there? Oh, just about. Just about to speed that across. Okay. I'm going to do standard kicks rather than your standard house kicks, which would be all fours. Drum bass only uses the yeah, other one. But also, it makes the second one a late kick. Yeah, there we go, lovely. Uh, I'm going to assess that to its mixer channel. It's assess to a free mixer. First thing I do is I'm going to send it, send it to one number one. That gives some volume. And I'm also going to EQ it. I'll just use my standard EQ. I don't know if you can see that, but move it across so you can see it. Let's go up there. Standard EQ. Which is this one? Now, when it comes to kicks, the, you don't really need the very low one. I take that down, move it to around 50. Just give it a quick listen, just to hear it. Then we uh, sharpen that up, just to give this a bit more of an angle. And what that's just done there, that's given some room for your pure bass to come through. I'll give you a demo later what that should happen there. I'm also going to push the high end up, just so you can hear it through the whole hertz. I don't know if you can hear that, that well, but if you notice, if you notice that's just made it a lot louder but without pre pressing through the uh, beat monitor a bit. I'll give you a quick show. So I'll put that back down. You notice now it's a bit more darker, you can't hear that high end, but if I push it up, and the volume doesn't go up that much at all. But if I push this up, it gives way into the red line, which you don't want. It gives us a bad sound. So let's just leave them there. I'll do that for now. Uh, next, I'm going to go into my snare. So to our left, where the sounds are kept. These are all standard sounds, by the way, I'm using that come with FL9, just to make it easier for people watching, so they don't have to go around downloading stuff before the tutorial starts. I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna take that one in. I'm going to play around a bit. It's, like, it's up to you what sounds you want. Some people will want a live snare. I see how it goes. I'm going to mix my sounds up. It's normally best to lay your snares up. Same with the kicks. Uh, let's go for real sounds. Let's see if I've got any in there. If I can find them. Legacy, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Uh, real drum kits. It's got quite a snap to it. Let's use that one. Okay, let's get in here. Let's just put that on the other one. Let's go. That's already got like a high, like a, what you call it, white noise sound to it. So hopefully this real one will give it a bit more of a snap to it. Yeah, not too bad, we'll keep that. So we'll go to our first one, access that to our mixer. Also, it might as well do the second one at the same time. Now, EQ, near enough the same, but snares are not so low in the hertz bar. I've always shown you that way, so I'm not going to do it again. So, you don't have to change the angle, just pull it down. Oh, oh, so, it's just so you know it's not much happens to the sound, but what it's doing there is it gives it some room in the EQ bar 
always the same, push the high end up, I'm going to not push the very last one up, and just give it a bit more of a sound depth, yeah this cleans it up, makes it a bit more drum and bass sound like, go to the second one, add that L, yeah, put some more EQ on it, drop that one down there, I'm going to drop it down there and push that one up. I'm just trying to nip the white noise bit off it rather than the actual snare. There we go, that'll do that. Lovely. So there you go. Here's your kicks and your snares. Just to make it a bit more interesting. And there we go. Right, some hats. Quite a drum and bassy hat. Let's uh, just put on every off beat. Every off beat to the off step. Yeah, I'm liking that, that's not too bad. Just some quick EQ on that as well. Uh, don't really need to push it up too much at the high end, but I'm going to. It'll drop down the low bottom bit, just give it this bass and it kicks some room. I'm also going to turn it down a bit as well, just because it's probably a bit too much powerful. There's some more EQ to come onto it later. Now I want the hat to sound really fast, so I don't want it too distracting, but I want it really filling. Uh, uh, remember that hat and that, those, that last snare just come from there. Remember right, it's number six. Hip hop. Uh, let's just see what it sounds like full. Bit crazy. But, if I push this button up here, we get my EQ out. Not my EQ, my uh, velocity. Right, I'm going to drop these two down on the first bars here. See what that sounds like. Oh, that was the wrong one. Yeah, not too bad, I like it. Then uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have a slight roll down on that one, a slight roll up to see what that sounds like. And that's going to give you like a swing feel, you know, make you want to go side to side rather than just up and down. Then uh, drop down this one a little bit here, same for this one here. So what you're looking for in this bit, let's drop down the wrong one now. Right? Yeah, I've dropped that wrong one. What you're looking at is just where all your drum rolls come in, like your off snares. Like that little middle bit. Like, let me just give you a quick detail. Like this is where the snares come in. So, like on those bits there, you normally have loads of like, fast snares, um, hats coming in, just to give you some feel to it. I'm just going to put some random EQ in because. If the drummer was playing, he wouldn't have the same drums hats going all the way through. It would always be different. You never hit a hat the same volume twice. Like right, this one. Uh, let's just try it on the first kick to see what that's going on. You know, and that's like just basically. I've oh, got someone to talk to me on Facebook. I wonder who that is. It is Jessica. Jess is talking to me on Facebook. Lovely. Oh, right, new puppy. New puppy. What have we got up here? Blue Mass and Lights, my link. What link's that one? He's been looking at my puppy. Oh, how cute. And look at the puppy too as well. <laughs> you crap me up, Luke. You really do, mate. Anyway, that's been another tutorial. FL tutorial. My name's Bobski Manic. Please rate, please subscribe, and please leave comments because I'd love to know what you're thinking, what you want to know for the next ones. Thank you very much for watching.